Aries, welcome back to the channel. Monica Lou here with the Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for the month of September. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Aries, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to look at your challenge for the month of September. And then we're gonna be taking a look at what you don't see coming for the month of October. Okay, your challenge is the Empress, okay? And what you don't see coming is the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Aries, so let's get into this. Let's see what's going on for you for the month of September. Now, in September, your challenge, Aries, is the Empress. And the Empress is the Divine Feminine, okay? It's the Mother. It is, you know, maybe your partner here that's coming up. This could also have a lot to do with something that you're creating. This could have something to do with your work as well. It doesn't have to necessarily be about love. Uh, it is challenging for you maybe to be in this place of nurturing, loving, caring, supportive. It could be challenging for you to maybe get into this mode of creation. If you're trying to create something, maybe it's been challenging to get a certain project off the ground. Either way, the Empress is a part of your challenge. We are going to clarify this. We're gonna find out more about this uh, after when we get into your um, reading in the extended, okay? And we're gonna see how this challenge ties into uh, the reading. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus or you could uh, have Taurus tendencies in your natal chart. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Now, in the recent past, you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Four of Cups, and you have the Sun. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel like there was new love that came into your life. It really shine. Uh, it really shined a really bright light in your life here in the past you know with the sun it was really warm and beautiful and you know um, everyone saw this they saw that you were in love and it was just so beautiful here in the past however there was also this uh feeling of rejection here in the past okay so even though there was new love there could have still been this feeling of well i don't know if this person really wants me are they genuine do they really care about me are they just putting this on as a front um or in the past, there could have been a new love that came into your life, but then they ignored you, right? It's it's like hot and cold, right? One day it's great, the next day it's not great. One day it's amazing, then it's not amazing. So I do feel like there was slight ups and downs in the past connected to a love that you were involved with, but because it was so warm and great and amazing, the times when it wasn't so great and amazing didn't really matter to you, okay? Um, so there was a bit of this on and off energy, but things still looked and felt great, okay? That's what I'm feeling um, happened here in the past. We're gonna clarify this later on and find out more. Now, in the present moment, things are very, how do I put this? Things are very challenging, okay? Because there is this feeling, very similar to what happened in the past, but here's how I'm gonna say it. In the past, when these feelings came to the surface, they weren't a big deal. It was like, oh, whatever. You know, today they're off, or today is not a great day, whatever, it's not a big deal. Whereas today, in the present moment, there is a bit of this pain, okay? And I'm not sure why. Um, Three of Swords has been coming up a lot Okay, in the readings. So it, it shows me here in the present moment that somebody has trust issues, okay? I don't know if this is you or your person, but there's definitely trust issues. There is this feeling of um, not being emotionally fulfilled in the present moment, you know, eight of cups. I don't really feel emotionally fulfilled. There's a feeling of maybe I should disconnect or walk away from this. So this is what's happening in the present moment for a lot of you, right? Um, Page of Swords trying to get clear, trying to get clear on, you know, someone being honest, are they being deceptive? Should I stay? Should I go? So if you are questioning a relationship, if you're questioning a job situation, a family situation, some of you in the present moment are so hurt 
that you want to justify why you should disconnect or leave something. It's like you want to know if you should stay or go. Should I stay? Should I go? Um, is this the one? Are they the one? Are they not the one? Why are they emotionally disconnected from me? Do they care about me? Do they want this? This is what's happening in the present moment. And of course, we're going to clarify this later on and we're going to find out more. Okay. Now in the near future, there's a tower, the M, the Hierophant, excuse me, and the two of pentacles. Okay. And this is why your challenge, by the way, is the Empress, because now I get it. You, your challenge is the Empress because you're saying to yourself, you know, should I continue to nurture this situation? Should I continue to put my all into it? Um, because in the near future, there is this choice. There's a decision about your marriage. It's a decision about your commitment. Um, if it's not a marriage, it's a commitment. You know, if you're committed to a certain job or project, um, and you feel in the near future, it's not panning out the way that you thought it would, you may have to make a, a very critical decision about this. Okay. Especially by the end of, um, September. And the sun is going to be entering into the sign of Libra with the south node. Okay. Now, of course, the eclipse is going to happen this month and it's happening in Pisces, which is happening in your 12th house. So there's something going on behind the scenes and it's intense. It's intense. Okay. And you feel it already because this, I think it's a lunar eclipse. Um, so it is going to be a, a little bit ouch here. It's going to be a little bit fiery here. Um, maybe watery and fiery at the same time because Pisces is a water sign. Um, so I feel like in the near future prediction wise here, um, there's going to be a choice or decision about a breakup, a disconnect, a divorce, maybe for some of you, I don't like to give this negative, um, news, but you know, I'm just reading the cards and this is what the cards are saying. So again, it doesn't mean that that's going to happen. Some of you are just reevaluating whether or not a commitment is worth your energy and time, especially the nurturing aspect of it. Um, relationships are not easy. They can be challenging. They do require nurturing. They do require patience, especially marriages. So in the near future, you may have to choose or decide. Now I'm also seeing in the near future, someone's juggling something here. Okay. Juggling a marriage, juggling something else. They aren't married, but they're doing something else behind the scenes. So again, of course, when we get into the extended, I'm going to clarify all of this. Um, but it's like, there's a choice or a decision connected to this. I keep getting a marriage or a commitment that you're involved in, which you don't see coming in the month of October. Okay. Because there's going to be an eclipse and I I'm going to try to do, um, readings like on eclipses about the eclipse and stuff. If I get time, um, so essentially here, what you don't see coming in the month of October, you have the queen of swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You may need to decide if you want to continue to give to this situation. Do you still want to continue to not give up on this person or give up on this situation? I do see you possibly disconnecting or this person disconnecting from you because someone feels like an option. I did get this also for Pisces. So some of you are dealing with a Pisces or you have a rising Pisces or a moon Pisces. Why is this message come, keep coming up is because somebody here needs to hear it. It's not the easiest message, but it is coming up. I do feel in October, you're going to get the clarity that you need about this relationship, especially if you're uncertain about it. Okay. Um, so it is an intense reading Aries for you. I do get a sense here that there is a lot of love and there is a strong connection. At least that's what it looks like in the past. But as we progress and move forward into these intense months with the eclipses happening and, and the changes of the South and North node, there is going to be a little bit of challenges here in terms of that. Okay. So if you're somebody who is having challenges in your marriage commitment relationships, this could be your reading. Okay. Even if it's not about love, even if it's about disconnecting or walking away from, you know, a, a job for some of you, I do feel that September and October are going to be very intense months for you. 
But if you're informed and aware of what's going on, you're going to be able to navigate this a lot better. Okay. So this is what I have for you, Aries in the extended. I'm going to clarify all these cards. We're going to see exactly what's taking place for you in the month of September. We're going to also see how this ties into the month of October for you, because like I said, October, once the sun enters into that seventh house, your relationships and your business relations are going to be activated. So we're going to see how that is panning out for you. And at the end of the reading and the extended, I will provide you with some advice. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning into this and I will see you on the next one. Bye.